Good morning. We attempted rope drop today. It is 8.01. We are just getting to the gates. I'm doing a video today about rope drop and explaining all the things that you need to do to be prepared. Number one is if you want to make rope drop, you got to get up earlier than we did. We're in a group though and so we had a few little things go on this morning and that's okay. Not every morning is going to go as planned. So get here as soon as you can though. But we chose to go to DCA today because they don't have early entry. It is 8.02. Through the gates, just went through the gates. Got to security about 7.55. So you have to factor and plan in all of these things. First of all, you have to get from your hotel to Disneyland, whether that's going to the parking structure, taking Uber or walking. So we did not factor enough time this morning and that's okay because we're still gonna have a fabulous morning. But when it says the park opens at eight, you can get here at 7.30. They actually let you in at 7.30. I'm gonna show you how far they let you in at 7.30 and then where the ropes are. We're gonna come right here to the fountain right here in the middle and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about rope drop and normally what it looks like in the morning and where you want to go and what you want to try and get done. Here's the fountain. Okay, so over here there's a map. So let's come over here to this map. You can see behind me that is the entrance over to Soarin' Over California and they put a rope up over there. Then over here behind me is the entrance into web <clears throat> avengers campus and into cars land eventually and they put a rope up there and then further down let's go over here let me show you further down hollywood boulevard down there they put a rope up for people who want to go to guardians of the galaxy so there's three different locations let's go look at a map and i'll show you a little bit better right over here by guest services they have a good map so let's show you you come into the parks this way Okay, and then in the morning, like right here, we are right here. So there is a rope that is right here for guests that want to go on to Soren. Okay, so there's Soren. Then there's a rope, oh, probably about right here, just before Avengers Campus. And people can either go to Avengers Campus or they can come up here and they can go to the Cars Ride, which is Radiator Springs Racers. The other popular attraction is they will go down, walk down here, here's the fountain walk down here and about right here there's another rope for guardians of the galaxy so those are kind of the three big attractions where people like to go another option from here you can go all the way up over here okay again you're going to get stopped right here at the rope but once the rope drops then you can come all the way up here and go over to the wharf so over here at pixar pier <clears throat> they've got and actually this isn't the wharf anymore this is called uh san francisco um, but over here, you've got Incredicoaster and Toy Story. So those are kind of the rides that build up the lines the fastest. So when you get here, you go through security, you're gonna get stopped at one of these one, two, three points. You're gonna stop. Now let me explain a little bit about early entry. Early entry is something for on-property guests. So if you're staying at the Pixar Place Hotel, the Disneyland Hotel, or Disney's Grand Californian Hotel, you actually have a 30 minute, like, you get into the park 30 minutes before other guests, but it's not the same park every day. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, you get into Disney California Adventure early. Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, you get into Disneyland a half hour early. So what I like to do is if you're not staying on property, but you want to be here and you want to get on the rides and you want to be here for rope drop, take advantage of all of your time, then you're going to want to come to Disney California Adventure on days when they are not hosting early entry, which that's why we're here today. Today is a Thursday. So come on Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, so that you can rope drop. I'm gonna come walk down here. I'm gonna show you what Radio Springs Racers does and what a mistake that a lot of times people get here. And if they get here right now, it's only 8, 10 maybe by now. I've been talking for a little bit. So now at 8, 10, people are like, oh, it's early in the morning. I'm gonna go get on racers. Let's go check out the line. Well, they get all the way over here and I'm gonna show you how, the long, how long the line is already. In the morning, these precious first like two hours, you don't wanna waste time, all of that time in a line. Okay, as you're wa we're walking here, I'm gonna show you. So this is where the rope was this morning, okay? Right here. And it was stopping people from going into Cars Land and Avengers Campus. So there's Avengers Campus. So people went that way and they went to Web Slingers. One thing, if you want to rope drop Guardians of the Galaxy, do not go this way through Avengers Campus. 
it takes you longer to go this way. If you want to do web slingers, go that way. But if you want to do Guardians of the Galaxy, go on down Hollywood Boulevard and stay stopped right there in front of um, Animation Building. That's where you want to be lined up for Guardians of the Galaxy. It's a faster little route over to the right. For the guests who wanted to go on Racers this morning, this is where they veered off. And it's a little after eight. We're gonna go see how long the line is because I want to show you guys how crucial it is to be here early. If this is your ride that you want to do and not pay for it, uh, Lightning Lane, which is this Lightning Lane single pass. This is a good time to mention Lightning Lane. So when you buy a Lightning Lane multi-pass, it includes several rides in either park, but it does not include certain rides. Then it doesn't include all the rides. So I have a list and I'll put it here in the description. You can look at what's included with Lightning Lane Multipass, but there are two attractions that are not included, but you can pay for. So you don't have to get Lightning Lane Multipass. You can just do a Lightning Lane Single Pass. So you can do a single pass for Radio Springs Racers. So you pay about $20 a person to ride once. Um, it's between seven and twenty dollars. Depends on the day, how busy it is, and how um, popular the attraction is for the day. But then the other ride is over in Disneyland at Rise of the Resistance. Again, you pay for extra. Here's a cast member who just said, "This is the standby this line. Is stand line. This is the standby line." So they have not even gotten to the point where it'll show you how long the wait time is. We're gonna uh, just walk this line. You can see all these people behind me that are in line. I just looked at the phone, it is 8.11. This is how long the line is at 8.11. All of these people are going to waste at least an hour in line. Our precious ride time to wait in line for Radiator Springs Racers. And the line just keeps going, you guys. Like we're not even to the beginning of where the timer starts, okay? So this is how long it is just to get in line. These people are going to be waiting also, if you have a stroller, you have to park your stroller over here. You cannot take the stroller in line. So I just talked to the cast member. If you see right there, look at the sign. It says that it's 60 minutes. That's 60 minutes from this point in the line. He said the other people, and that's another 20 minutes. You're gonna add to their time. He's actually gonna change it right now because the line just keeps growing. So I'm gonna show you another option when you get here. If you don't get here right at, well, let's talk about that. I'm gonna hop out of line. Well, I wasn't in line, but I'm gonna hop over here where I'm not in anybody's way. So this line right here, these people probably got here about 745, 750, got into the parks and went, you know, as far as they could to get into the line. If you want to be one of the first ones on the attraction right when the park opens and you wanna be the first ones that roped up, that's the only way this, this works. Otherwise, this strategy doesn't work. I have a full video that shows you the right way to rope drop Radiator Springs Racer. If you get here at 745, do not even attempt to get in this line and do Radiator Springs Racers. Pivot, make a different choice, go to Incredicoaster, go to Guardians of the Galaxy, go, go to Soren, go to a different attraction. Don't waste your time this line. These people are gonna waste 75 minutes of their day at the beginning of the day when they can go on shorter lines and then come back to this. I mean, I get that you wanna go on the ride, so come back and spend that hour, hour and a half in line later in the day once you've done everything else. But I have a tip. We're gonna actually go right now and we're gonna see how long it takes us. We're gonna test out the single rider line. So you notice that they changed the time to 75 minutes. So from here, it's 75 minutes. We're going right here over to the single rider line and we're gonna see how long it takes us. I'm gonna time it. I just looked at my clock and it says 8.15 exactly. So we're gonna see how long the single rider line is and it will go way faster. Now, one thing you have to know about the single rider line is your party will be split up. There's a chance you could go together. I'm not saying you, you won't, but they always warn you there's an option of a, you, you're gonna be split up. So this might not work for everyone, but if this is high on your list, you wanna get it done, do it early in the morning. Either get here for rope drop at the appropriate time or hop in the single rider line. I'm gonna show you how long it takes. So that is the standby line behind me, okay? I am in the single rider line and this line goes much faster. So your options are rope drop, go in the standby line, purchase a lightning lane single pass for all, look and see how much it is today for about $20 per person or do the single rider line. Purchase a lightning lane right now is $19. So today it's $19 to ride this attraction. So I'll save $19 by standing in this single rider line 
or you could have uh, just stand in the regular line or you can also do rope drop. We're working our way up for the line. It's just right here. There's the standby line out there. Just wraps around and around and around. Okay, and just like that, I am on you guys. It's 8.22. That took seven minutes. In line, seven minutes. I'm getting on the attraction, right? Awesome. Remove those ears. Here we go. We're on Rainer Springs Racers. Seven minutes. I love it. Probably just a bad spark plug, hippie. Give our friend your best. Web Slingers and the wait time it says 15 minutes we'll see how long it actually takes but this is a really very, very fast line this is a good good one to go on next that was an eight minute ride uh, wait to this point of the retraction which is the showroom The point of this attraction is kind of like a Toy Story ride where you are trying to shoot at targets. So there will be spider bots all over that they are like replicating. So there's many of them. You want to shoot at the gold ones. Um, the gold spiders actually give you more money. So you get in these little ride vehicles down here and you use your arms to sling webs. And it's kind of like a little workout, not gonna lie. So this is a really fun ride. It's kind of like a Toy Story if you've been on Toy Story. These are the ride vehicles that you get in. And you actually put on these glasses that they give you. So you put on your glasses, and then you're gonna get in there, and we're gonna shoot webs at all the spider bots.
we are headed over to Soren. We're gonna see if we can get on Soren and knock that uh, ride out as well. And then I'll see what time it is and we'll see what we're gonna do after that. It's like the wait time for Soren says 25 minutes. So we're gonna definitely hop in line for this one. Let me check the time. It is 9.15 and the time for Soren, it says it's a 25 minute wait. That is not bad at all. So let's go ahead and get in line for Soren and knock that one off of our list. Love morning time here at Disney California Adventure. Here's our line situation. So we have been in line for only 15 minutes. It's at a 25 minute wait. We are at this point where we're going to go get into our rows and then watch the movie. So I would say by the time we get on the attraction, it'll be 25 minutes. So that's a pretty accurate rate wait time. And then we'll see where we go after that. Soren, perfect ride. Love that ride. Um, it is great for everyone. Uh, there is a little height requirement, so keep that in mind. We have decided we're gonna take a little break. We're gonna go get uh, the green apple lemonade here at Smoke Jumpers. It is a seasonal drink. And then just figure out, decide what we're gonna do next. All right, it's almost 10 o'clock and I wanna take a look in the app and see what the wait times are so you can decide. At this point, we made really good use of our first two hours in the morning. Now, what could you get done and what are the wait times? What do they look like? You're gonna look in the app under the attraction section. And currently we've got attraction wait times, five minutes, five minutes, Goofy Sky School, we could go over there. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy is now 35 minutes. So remember earlier it was 45, so the time's gone down actually a little bit. Um, and then Incredicoaster's five minutes, Motion Whirlwind, five, five. Little Mermaid, Luigi. So you guys, the, really the wait times are still very low. Um, even Racers has gone down a little bit. So we've done Soren, we've done Racers. You could go over to Toy Story, it's now open. Um, and Web Slingers we've done. So those are kind of your options. And I just wanted to show you where you look in the app so you know what to look for. That's gonna be it for our rope drop. Even though we didn't get here right at rope drop, we were here very early this morning, just a five minutes after the rope drop. But I wanted to show you that when it's not a good idea to go to racers, unless you're willing to do a single rider. So if you're willing to do a single rider, do that. Um, go ahead and watch. I have some other rope drop videos on my channel. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, make sure that you like and subscribe to my channel so that you can learn how to do Disneyland better. You've got all the tips, tricks, all the tools that you need to make the most out of your day. All right, thanks. Till next time, see ya.